Welcome to another episode of Tea Time. On today's show, we've got a host of topics to discuss this morning, and you really don't want to miss out on any one of them. I'm Tukum Botairo, and on the sofa with me this morning, I have my usual suspects, the one and only, wait for it, wait for it, Lakwe Banjo, and the ever-opinionated Ife Oshinkeye. Hi, What's guys. Up? Hello. How you doing? How I'm good. You? you seem to be in a very good mood. Am I? And the weather is yeah, really, has made really... you look. Yeah, but has made you <laughs> <laughs> made me look or made me. No, I'm just really like fed up of the weather. I just can't wait for the rainy season to you be over. You don't look fed up at all. You look bright and sunny and joking? cheerful. No, this is a lot of makeup and oil and stuff. But I think on the really... opposite hand, I think your fair looks like the weather. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm loving the weather, man. Like I said yesterday. Well, weather. yesterday's weather is different from today's weather, isn't it? Yeah, but you've been asking about the weather all week. Kind of. Yes, that's, yeah, that's what we English do. Up. That's Good what we weather. English guys do. Oh, okay. Yeah, we we'll talk right. about the weather. Great. And we Nigerian guys. No, I thought you were going to say you Ghanaian guys. <laughs> no, we're ready for anything. <laughs> we're ready for any weather. Well, good thing you aren't clearing up the flood outside. They're not exactly ready for that. It's just flooding all the time. They need to do something about the flood. This, is, Le this is Victoria Island. This is Lekki. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like they should still be doing something about the flood. They come with our life jacket, our kino, our boots, our ring. So are you basically defending boots? this this kind of? I'm just telling you, babes. This is lucky. You are babes now. This is Victoria <laughs> Island. <laughs> no, it's not good enough. They need to do something about the water, and everyone doesn't. Yeah, need yeah, to... yeah. Like we're just right. I'm just joking. I'm just messing around. They really need to do something about the flood. It's really frustrating. Absolutely. Okay, so on this morning's episode, we're getting all the tea on Femikuti, Timi Dakolo, Dele Momodu, and Basket Mount. So our first story is on Femikuti's son, Made, who joins his music band. Okay. This is really good news. I like the fact that they're going in that same progression of, you know, the same way Femikuti joined Fela's band when he was just about 17. Yeah. Madez also actually always has gone to university, finished school, mm -hmm. and he's following his dad and grandfather and uncle's footsteps. footsteps yeah. um, and I think it's come as a result of the guy that ran away when he went to America, the guy that... Oh, yeah, yeah, the one that absconded. So they've brought on Made okay. um, as a result of that because he's filled in the vacancy. Mm -hmm. um, and what, what no, well, you know, no other way to do it than to bring your own son who's not going to run away, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's a way of coaching him and getting him to do it. And I'm really happy for Made. I mean, he's young, um, he's fresh, he's going to be doing on the, um, what are they called again? Africa 80. Is it Africa 80? No, it's not Africa 80. What's Fala Femi Kuti's band called? Egypt 80. Well, I don't know no, what they're called. I can't that's, remember. Um, I think when they go, no. So what's Femi Kuti? No, Femi Kuti's band's got a similar name. Yes, that's why I was I like, can't it's so what the name is, but Femi yes. Kuti's band, he's going to join them. The 80s band. It's the something 80s. 80. The 80s band. Um, and I he's think it's called the 80s. The no. 80s. It's Egypt 80. I'm Egypt right. 80, yeah. Yes. Egypt 80. <laughs> I knew there was um, 80 there somewhere. Yeah, Egypt um, 80. Okay. And yes, yeah, so obviously he's joining. So what's Adekone Gold's band? I don't know. I've never even knew. I never even knew he had a band. Oh, Adekone does. Yeah, Egypt 80. And he's obviously going to be performing at the shrine, of which Femi Kuti performed at the shrine on Sunday. And it was an eclectic performance. You I were there say. in person, I presume. Mm. <laughs> what were you doing at the shrine? Watching Femi Kuti's performance. Oh, great. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, if Why else would I be at the shrine? I don't know. Maybe to worship. Ooh. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. I was definitely there to see Femi Kuti's performance. He performs on Sunday nights. Mm -hmm. Not every Sunday, some Sundays, but it was good. Mm -hmm. I really liked it. If uh, you're, you've not said anything about my day being on the band. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, if Femi Kuti came on his Instagram as a proud father and then posted this and spoke about it. So, like uh, like we said, it's like um, a progressional trend that would also happen with Madi's kids. And, and so it's like a legacy that would live on forever. So that fella mm -hmm. legacy would never fade away from what I can see. It's being passed on from But I don't think um, it's as a result, just my opinion, it's no, as it a result is. of that's the guy. That's what they've said. That that's what they've said. Oh, that's they what came they out said. and oh, said okay. that, you know, after okay. the answer. Because I know Madi wanted to join the band sometime last year and Femi was like, nah, no, you he's have not to be ready done with school and mm -hmm. all of that, like education is And he's been playing yeah. instruments since he was young. They've yeah, groomed so, him since he was young. So he was always... So I just figured it was the right time. I didn't yeah. think it was as a result of that. No, but it this still makes it... I mean, first of all, the family have said that it was as a result of that. And two, 
it's no better time to because if there's somebody that has left and mm -hmm. there's a space that can be filled and mm -hmm. he's been groomed to do that, mm -hmm. yeah. then why not put him he on now? Well. And also, what I've noticed about my day is actually he looks a lot more like Fela than his dad does. So it's really nice to see that, you know, the... He's come again as a kind of younger version of Fela yeah. and that kind of thing, and it's yeah. really nice. And his mum is also very close to the they family. They should have called him Tunde, not, you know, not Made. Why Tunde? Because that's what Oh, means yeah, it. because he comes back as the father. Exactly. Yeah, I know, but I mean, they might not think he looks like him. It's just my opinion. I just think he mm -hmm. looks a lot more like Fela than his dad does. Okay. All right, up next is the story on Timmy Dakolo, who says bullies and trolls are actually lonely and bitter. <laughs> He's absolutely right. Obvious yeah. truth. And He's very right. Obvious. Obvious. Disease. Another state in the obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Keyboard warriors. We know that. Oh, but I mean, not in all cases. I think sometimes people are just really, really judgmental. Mm -hmm. And they just want to have a, have a say on everything. But in most cases, yeah. trolls, wherever you go in the world, mm -hmm. they're always very like... I mean, everyone always goes onto their pages after you've seen their comments. You're expecting someone really, like, worthy of saying what they're saying. And it's mm -hmm. just this weirdo sitting in their room somewhere that's got time on their hands to, like... Mm -hmm talk nonsense mm -hmm. really um, and that's why he says they're lonely and bitter yeah and also because trolls come for celebrities a lot so yeah. he's sufficient and inadequate yeah. i like that part yeah. like, i mean i wonder what's so happened why exactly he's, he why decided he's to come out and say, say this, this. So yeah i'm sure people trolled him for say big man like you are crying over school fees the school fees yeah, because yeah, i was so going to sure relate it like, somehow yeah, yeah, that I it must be that was that was what, what happened, happened like yeah, yeah. Possibly, mm. but he's absolutely okay. right. I think yeah. it's definitely true that people that are trolls, mm -hmm. and um, trolling will only get worse. I think people will start trolling people like in real life soon. And I don't think Timmy Dakolo was really affected by the school fees. He was just having a sense yeah, of humor. Yeah, some sense like, of humor. Yeah. Then, but it, no, I'm he sure was it was affected. Expensive, but yes, like, he can he, recover. He, that's the yeah, thing. Yeah, he but knows it wasn't he like a big deal. He, he's been preparing for it for like Long three time, months. Yeah. They've been on break for three months. So he's been, he had enough time. How do school oh, fees work now, they, guys? Does he pay every month or does he pay every term? No, it's every term or every year. That's how the education system works. Is that how you pay every term or you pay every year? Every year. Yeah, you can pay for a section. A session, and then you could pay for um, a term. So per child, every three months, so he'd have to pay mm -hmm. for all of them at the same time That's every what I'm three saying. months. Yeah, people That's what I'm like. Saying. Yeah, no. So he's yeah. fair. It's fair enough. I yes, mean, that would exactly. have caused him a severe headache. Yeah, probably that would have cost him like 1.5 million for Timmy Dakolo. That's per child. Show money. Per no. child. For each of them, like I, I yeah, reckon that's what I mean, per child. it can't be more. No, for each of them, it's gonna be like 500k. You think so? What if it's no? I reckon no, school? no. No matter the international school, you cannot be paying more than 500k. Ha, please. please, is fair. Let me please. ask you. American no, international, American, 500K American part inter ten. Hang on, American, American international, international school there. Per in, session. Just wait. If I know people that go there, okay. American international school. You've in got VI. to be on the waiting list yeah. first. Not even that. They don't charge in naira. In dollars. Charge in dollars. Yes. Lecky British for primary school is 1.5 million naira per, per child. Yes, per, per term. Per session. Yes. Or per term. Per term. Their teachers aren't Nigerian. Their exactly. teachers aren't British. Even in, wow. in the American school Why as well. Why do you well. think he's complaining? No, it's huh. not. I know that for a fact. I had, in fact, in my group mm -hmm. chat, that 1.5 million, million per, naira yes. per child. <laughs> if they're Google it, I promise you. Listen, <laughs> in my group chat. <laughs> if I doesn't believe that you. group chat that I always tell you guys about, yeah. somebody asked the same question and somebody in that group chat's child goes to AIS and yes. they told us. Wow. I've been to AIS, yeah, so I know how he it works Saint down Saviour's there. St. Saviour's in Ikwe exactly. as well. Exactly. It's that... about 500,000, 500, and that's just St. Saviour's, not the mm -hmm. international one. No, but are you talking about secondary schools? Because I reckon primary, secondary schools might be more expensive. I feel like secondary schools but, might be cheaper. But you know, both of, you know, in, like in AIS, it's actually the two that they've got in there. So yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. if the two. Sometimes it's primary yeah, and secondary so schools. Yeah. I feel primary will be cheaper. And since these kids are still in primary, that's why I brought the fees okay. down I know, like I'll that. I guarantee you, I said the person I know that goes to AIS because is kids in primary school. Primary two. Okay. And they say Bangkok is the million. most expensive private university. Yeah, but you know the university is different. Well. Yeah, no, yeah. And, AIS um, haven't got I don't think any they? any course in Babcock pays more than two million naira. Yeah, but if this is international, do you get so? I'm just saying, like... No, just, I get you. Just, I get what you're saying. It's just funny that but I get what you're schools, saying. Yeah. Because even schools that are, like, Nigerian made with Nigerian teachers and stuff like that are, like... I know how much certain people in this office pay for their kids' school fees. Mm -hmm. And it's close to And 500. there are some specific schools, like, in Banana Island yeah, that I knew. Yeah, they don't charge you in no. Naira. Yeah, because all their well, teachers Well, you send your child to a school in Banana Island, then you have to be well exactly. off. Exactly. All right, certain. time for a break. When we come back, we'll be bringing you more entertainment news. We'll be right back. Who am I to query God? I'm like, after everything I've done, 
most of us are fighting for our personal interests. Fire started exactly 10 I was in the DJ, I've been in construction, a mechanic. I have seven children. If entertainment is going to be our second biggest export in the country now, we do need to invest properly in structure. I don't know where we're heading. Then I'm reminded that Nigeria has been close to the brink on so many other occasions, and God has been merciful to pull us back from that brink and save this country. It's a big one, just... Yes. Welcome back. You're watching Tea Time right here on Plus TV Africa. Up next is this headline on Basket Mouth, who calls out airport authorities over breaking into passengers' luggage. Do you Sorry. agree? Just before, <laughs> I've got a lot to say on this. Just okay. before we go into it, did you guys both see the report okay. about the ABC America did when they followed, you know, the TSA, the who are like equivalent mm. of NACO here um, in the, um, I can't remember what airport it was. I think it was in Chicago or something. Okay. And they put, you know, like your iPads and iPhone have tracker devices on yeah. it, right? And they left it and then they followed it and they did about, um, they, did one, they followed one guy, but there was about 400 cases that month. And basically, they went. They took the cameras, followed the guy to the um, where the iPad was. They saw him in the uh, airport camera that this guy had taken the iPad. Right, mm -hmm. the presenter left the iPad there. They tracked it to the man's house. He denied it on camera. Mm -hmm. Then they later said, "Look, by the way, find my iPhone and find my iPad is an app that lets you track down your mm -hmm. yeah. device. Yeah. And once you start pressing it, then mm -hmm. it starts going off in that person's house. I've personally used it in university before mm -hmm. someone took my phone and I found it in their house. Now." He did the same thing and the guy denied and said, oh, his wife took it. The point that they were trying to make was that a lot of people that work in the airports worldwide, it's not just a Nigerian thing, right? They take your items if you forget it, if you leave mm -hmm. it there. Mm -hmm. And there's also, you know, even if you padlock your bags, they can still open it. Mm -hmm. It's just a scissor you just, and it just pops open. Oops. So I've stopped padlocking my bags because there's no point. Because even if you padlock it mm -hmm. and my mum's was like, padlock your bag, pad even if you padlock your bag, they, they can. can still open it and they can close it back. Yes. So they can take whatever they want from your bag, right? So that's happening in America, let alone in Muratala. <laughs> you wonder what's going on of there. Of course, the entirety will begin from your bag. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's what was just so saying. funny. Isn't and it? it's just sad that they're getting away with it. <laughs> mm -hmm. But what do you expect? I mean, like, people are traveling. People are traveling, you know, with expensive items. That's mm -hmm. what they always tell you to put the most valuable things in your hand luggage. Yeah. And like people are traveling with gifts, people are traveling with things that mean stuff to them. And you're just having a field day. Christmas has come early. Picking. Exactly. And you're just taking things out of the bag. In fact, you choose, you'll be like, no, this one, no, no, let me take this. Yeah. <laughs> like you, trust you me. Pick and, and then even when you, they don't open it and mm -hmm. you get to customs in Nigeria, which they've stopped doing, by the way, so credit to the customs system, you get to the airport. Mm -hmm. Every time I come to Muratala Mohammed, I get there. I'm about to, I've got my bags, I'm about to leave, and then the security men are like, you know, anything yeah. worse, blah, blah, yeah. blah, let's check your bag. If you don't cooperate with them, they'll go through your stuff and pick, try and classify anything in your bag as yeah. contraband mm -hmm. and seize your whole luggage. They've stopped doing that now, but because the, the point is, what's the point of me going through security if I'm still going to have it checked again at, at the, the door, mm -hmm. and somebody's going to come and tell me that, oh, I've got contraband in my bag if I don't give them money. Mm -hmm. So they've stopped doing that now because they've seen that as a way of making money. So yes, Basket Mouth is absolutely right. It shouldn't be done. It shouldn't be tolerated. Yeah. But what can we do? They're the only people. Like, what can we really do? Like, it's happening everywhere. It's not just Nigeria. What like, can we really do is that we can reform them. We can train those people. We don't just employ certain people to do security jobs. Yeah, but if I'm get? telling you that it happens in all airports. Are we going to train the, all everybody in the world? Because even if it's okay, so let's say for example, Nigeria takes the um, lead mm -hmm. and, and starts, you know, implementing this. Mm -hmm. Nobody should go through people's bags. And then you take your flight from Nigeria to JFK in America, mm -hmm. and then this, and they do the same thing to you there. Are you can? This thing is embedded in that whole. And it's, I guess, I guess mm -hmm. it's a bait, mm -hmm. and I guess it's very, very tempting for them not exactly. to have, not That's to go through your bag, or not to take something that was, you know, just around your luggage or something. Mm -hmm. So I think it's something that is to do with human nature. But don't steal. Yeah, but like, how do you think it can be minimised in your own... Until the media starts showing that this is how people get into your bags. Like the yeah, AB, like what the the ABC with, yeah. guy mm -hmm. that did it, he got, he got fired. I think we should try that here. And I think that is why a lot of um, 
um, airport personnel, mm -hmm. always when they find stuff, they always take it back because they feel like it's a setup. Yeah. So if actually you set these people up, mm -hmm. you might actually be able to cover it. Like, it's like a policemen bit. and yeah. the SARS thing now. Yeah. They know that once you get your phone out, it's going to go viral and yeah. they try and take your yeah. phone off of yeah. you. Yeah. And because they know that once you mm -hmm. you once you film them, they know everyone's So we gonna... just need like two or three scapegoats and I think this would... Yeah, kind of reduce. 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 Yeah. reduce. Or they'll find smarter ways. Or maybe ways. for like, maybe it will reduce for like two years and Even they figure out nobody. They'll find... <laughs> <laughs> and they'll figure out nobody's <laughs> watching anymore and then they will continue the, <laughs> yeah. they'll the find, business. Yeah, they'll find more innovative ways to get around it but it all boils down to minimum wage too should please yep. come up yep. because this is what is leading to all of this if mm -hmm. people are well paid if yeah. people are getting enough mm -hmm. as as hard as they work if they are getting as much as they work mm -hmm. then i don't think there will be any reason you think so steal. i think people will always be greedy like we it's human nature we always want more for example this guy this on my la show no, that's guy. only a name for sorry a klepto <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, you were going to... <laughs> You were going to say something about Shore. <laughs> oh my god. Um no, um yeah, he basically said that um he will make uh minute national women national minimum wage. Don't quote me on this figure, I yeah. think he said hundred thousand naira. Okay. Which okay. is again unrealistic. But even imagine it's not unrealistic. It, it's fair. No, but if it no, does no, happen no, though, I think it will minimize it will minimize some of this people, stuff. We're well, naturally greedy. Like everybody well, wants no, the thing is if your country Oil right. producing country. Where has the money circulated? Exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like if we Where can have a good government mm -hmm. to make this work. Then 100k as minimum wage is like. But we have peanuts. so many other problems before minimum yeah. wage. We're no, talking no, no, about basic no, that thing, necessities. No, if we're going to talk about politics very quickly in yeah. terms of this, right? Mm -hmm. It is to do with bad governance and it's to do with also making sure that money circulates through the economy. Mm -hmm. That will bring about content contentment. And mm -hmm. as a result, people won't do things that they naturally do. Mm -hmm. I always say to my friends that live abroad, right, that when you come to Nigeria, they're always asking me, oh, people are always scared, people are always scared, is there anyone going to rob me and stuff? I always say people here only rob you for something that, they, that you have. Like, if you've got something that's better than them and if you look like, you know, you're, so, you're valuable, yeah. they will come for you. Yeah. But if, like, in America, stuff, people just go on shooting sprees. Like, mm -hmm. you're not expecting that, do you know what I mean? So here, yes, people are not content because of the way the system yeah. is. But oh, Nari Ghana, yeah, if you forget your phone in a taxi, They'll all bring you have it to back do is you. go to the park. Even if they don't bring you, just go to the park. Just know what area the person is. Go to the park, lost and found. They have lost. You see, meanwhile phones. they're stealing phones in church here, and we're the one of the most. <laughs> like, it's from. not just oh, here Nari though. Like, I think it's oh. everywhere. There's oh, two yeah. encounters. My dad and my sister's phone both got stolen in church. Yes. That's no, what I'm on. saying is that the church thing is everywhere globally, like you were saying with regards to the airport staff as well because when i was in the uk they would announce specifically if you go to church hold on to your stuff I because you don't know who might be in church in public places <laughs> there are some certain people that just go there looking around to look mm -hmm. for people exactly. that opportunities just, exploit yeah, exactly. that they would exploit or somebody that would just lose focus and they can mm -hmm. take their stuff exactly so. all right time for another break but if you don't go away then we'll also will make it snappy That money will shoot Won't every person that we know we can shoot. We don't have that idea. You could have killed us for a long period of time. At that time, why carry Gloria? I first go to hospital first, but it didn't no go. Now I come with that, Mama. Hey, bro, you talk. Tell me why you love her. He just pulled it, he pointed, and Maybe shot. The soul of a man. They suffer too much. They suffer too much. Issues around the Nigerian police. We have to tackle it holistically. Welcome back. It's still tea time right here on Plus TV Africa and we're quickly moving on to our next story. And if you haven't heard, or Ted Dollar has accepted to run for Lagos governor under PDP. This is quite interesting because some time back, I think it was in, actually in May that he said he wasn't, he was not interested or he wasn't going to be running for, for, um, for a post. And then all of a sudden this comes and he didn't actually reveal it himself. It was Daily Momoju that actually revealed, revealed it. Yeah. Exactly. I what, mean, it's nice yeah. that we've, we're talking about this and we've just finished talking about, you know, governance and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So if uh, my question to you is this, right? 
Because the last thing you said was, oh, you know, it's to do with bad governance, why things aren't really working. Do you think Otadola can win Lago governor of Lagos State? Yes, definitely. This I, I personally election. would vote for someone like Femi Otadola. No, but looking at the, the political... Economy, no, but looking at the political landscape... Line of, up. Yeah. No, the landscape of the, like, country yeah. and the state. Lagos State is actually one of the very few states that yeah. runs its own economy, right? It doesn't mm -hmm. rely on the federal yeah. government. Yeah. Now, what, what would you say... Right, is the would you say that Otadola stands a chance in Lagos State based on how it's been so far? Oh. Bearing in mind his dad was also governor of Lagos State way back. Okay, well, considering all of that, I think he has a very high chance of winning. But if the incumbent, um, Ambody. yeah, um, government is still running, which is obviously still run going for second term, right? Mm -hmm. Ambody? Yeah, he, he actually he, he's withdrawn his nomination form. He was gonna run out. Now he's not running yeah. anymore. Okay, if Ambody was running, it might be a bit difficult, but if Ambody is not running, I think who else do you think is I better? I think even with Ambody running, he might he still stands a chance. Yeah, he still stands a chance, but it might be that's why I say it might be a bit difficult. difficult. Yeah, and then I we need someone like Femi or Ted Dollar, that's somebody what he that is, yeah, that got. But look, mm -hmm. the economy, no matter how much you want to bash Donald Trump here, mm -hmm. the, the economy say that. of America has it's improved. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Okay, you see, what, that, one of the things I want to bring on regarding Femi Otodola is I'm a bit disappointed that he's going for the governorships. I would Do have you know thought what? President... He oh, confirmed. no, that's taking it too far. You think so? That is taking it way too far. One step in fact, at a time. Can I, I just, can I just say before yeah, you move Yeah, but like on, Trump I just went think, straight in. I don't think he stands a chance. Two different political yeah. things. Okay. I don't think Otodola stands a chance. Immediately. Why? Winning. Yeah, he's exactly. Why? Why? He's Why? Why building his that? political career. He knows he's not going to win. Like the that's way, him throwing away money. Yeah, and the way like the whole thing is and set, perhaps learning the ropes. Yeah, like I mean, his dad's done it before, so he okay. does have some sort. But times Excellent. have changed. Okay, people that are kind of. Um, the decision makers and the cabal, mm -hmm. as they say, yeah. Yeah. has changed. Yeah. And I don't think at the moment he kind of stands a chance. Like, I think he's trying to build his political career and move into, you know, his I'm middle I'm sure they had have, they have even advised him to go for House of Assembly or something first. But mm -hmm. based on the status, that's yeah, why I went he's for, governorship. Go for governorship. You get, so you can't I don't definitely, think he someone like Femi Otedola will still run for president. And then now that we have. President, the, that's taking it too far. Yeah, he would but if he wins run. governorship, if he wins, though, if he wins governorship, governorship, I think he will. Me, he will. It depends on how well he does as a governor because everyone could no, have said, Why is Fashola well. not running for president? Femi Otedola mm -hmm. would do well. Yeah. I, as a governor. I, yeah, as a yeah. governor, I can Because you see, you see, just like um, Trump, you know, people who've run businesses. I was just about to say that, yeah. that yeah. everyone's kind of following to, in the Trump yeah. footsteps. Like, if you're looking at global and domestic mm -hmm. politics now, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. everyone's kind of following in Trump's footsteps in the sense that they're picking up the fact that, you know, a rich businessman can run a country like a business. Exactly. And Nigeria needs a huge economic push. Yes. You know, you need that whole international recognition and that mm -hmm. kind of thing, mm -hmm. which is great. Mm -hmm. However, the way our politics works here is based on sentiment, it's based mm -hmm. on religion, it's based on culture, mm -hmm. it's based on trust. There's so many little minor things yeah. that determine who comes into power. Yes. That and you, that is hard for the country to be run mm -hmm. normally. Like, that's what really I said. That's what I, I personally say said. Time you know, power, zone, I turn, I was so mm -hmm. yeah. That's yeah, what I'm, I'm saying. Like, that, really, but like, really, yeah. what I'm saying is, so if he does win, like, I think he will make a great, um, yeah, like you said, business, yes, yeah, definitely. a great governor, yeah, no, a great definitely. president. And I think he would be able to run Lagos State if we're looking at his yeah. CV and mm -hmm. his past, you know, um, achievements mm -hmm. and definitely. the success of his business. But will he be politically allowed to? Would he be given that opportunity? I don't know. Why do you think so? Because I don't think there are many. Are there many contenders right now? That's yeah, what I'm saying. Three now. Yes. So, and I think uh, he stands a better okay. chance. Because other than Abon Ambode, who's mm -hmm. withdrawn his He's, nomination yeah. form, actually. He's obviously going to, so they're going to, the, the APC is going to bring somebody else forward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's running under, I think he under was. PDP, under PDP. Under PDP. Yeah. I think and that might be a problem. PDP to win in exactly. Lagos. Because yeah. APC's always been in Lagos. Mm -hmm. So, like, again, do you see what I'm saying about yeah. the whole, like, the way the politics works is based on a lot of. Oh, and if you guys yeah. notice, Daily Ramon I think he should have joined the APC. Uh, emphasized on, on running under PDP. PDP. Yeah. Like, it's specified, mm -hmm. like. Because, because APC hasn't brought forward like their candidate. candidate Amber yeah. Day was going to run for second term. He's withdrawn mm -hmm. his nomination. So we don't know who the APC candidate well, is. A big applause. I didn't even know Amber Day withdrew his nomination. Because yeah, but that's not an applaud. You wonder why he's withdrawn. Exactly. Usually they always Hello. win second term. Fashola had two terms. Yeah, but who was before Fashola? Was it... Um, I can't remember who was before. No, the fact, I think it's the noble that is doing one term. He's not going. I think it was Bola Tinumbu that was before. Yes, Fashola. it was Tinumbu. Yes, and he also did second term. So yes, he did normally, second term. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like he's not doing the norm. So it is. No, what she's saying is that why? Why? You, that you should give that. you the that's, hint. Yeah, there's, there's a hint there. Is what I'm trying to say mm. to you. All and right. Also, yeah. Well.
<laughs> round up. I'm just, just going to get reached. Yeah, round up then. No, but I just think that him not running for second term is something that we should be concerned about. Like, yeah. what is he not doing? Was he, not, know, was he hiding? We all know that Bola Tinumbu is like the APC kind of mm -hmm. person playing the work, the puppeteer behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. So has he not appeased <laughs> Tinumbu, as it were? All right. Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see, we'll indeed. Out. And that's where... politics <laughs> That's yeah. what we're going to have to wrap it up on the programme. Join us this afternoon for another episode of Tea Time. But before we go, my thank yous, as always, go to my co-anchors, the production team as well. I'm Dukumu Taiwase. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>